Welcome back. In this tutorial, we're going to continue with the installation of Kali Linux. So we successfully managed to set up all of the options inside of our virtual box. And right now we are ready to start our machine and install the operating system. I'm going to lead you through all of the steps needed to take in order to install Kali Linux. And then in the next video, we are ready to start hacking using Python. Okay. So all you need to do right now is click on the start button while you selected your Kali Linux machine. As we can see, this is the first window that we will encounter. Let me just enlarge my screen. It will ask us for different types of options, such as if we want the graphical install or the usual install. It doesn't really matter. We can simply just go with the graphical install and install the Cat Linux like that. Okay, so here is the next option that pops up. It will ask us to select the language. I will leave it on English. The location, it doesn't really matter, I can just leave it on United States. If you like to, you can select your own location, click on continue. And here it asks us which type of keyboard configuration we want to use. I will leave it on American English, click on continue. Now while this is installing, another thing I want to mention is another reason why I don't really like the newest version because it will ask you to actually have a new user and not use the root account in order to complete your actions inside of the Kali Linux. And that is also another thing why I prefer the older versions because you can simply just use root account to perform anything you'd like. Now keep in mind that using root account can cause some security breaches, but since we're using a virtual machine, this is just for the uh, learning purposes, it doesn't really matter. That's why I chose the 2019.4 version of Kali Linux, which I find better and more suitable for this course. But right now, here is the next option that pops up, which is the configuration of network, the host name, we can call it test. The domain name, we can simply just delete and leave on empty because we don't really need it at the moment. And here's the option that I talked about. It will ask us to set up users and passwords. And this option didn't exist in the previous versions, only in 2020.1a version, which is the one we're installing at the moment. So you will have to create a new user. In this case, I will just call it test. Username for your account will also be test. And here we choose a password for the new user. Here you can type any password you like. I'm going to type test1234 and also test1234 and click on continue. Configuring the clock, I will select Eastern. The partitioning of disks, we want to select the option guided, use entire disk. Select the hard disk that you created during the previous video and click on continue. And here we want to set all files in one partition, as it does even say in the brackets, recommended for new users. Click on continue, click finish partitioning, and write changes to disk, we want to select yes, and click on continue. Now this will start the installation, which will get interrupted with maybe one, two questions. Uh, keep in mind that this will take some time to actually install, especially the newest version. Uh, it did take me around 45 minutes to an hour to actually finish all of the installations. And once it finishes that, you should be ready to use your Kali Linux machine. Now we're just going to leave it right here. And if we get any pop-up question, I'm going to get back to you right away. Okay, so here is the first pop-up question. It is the configuration of the package manager. Here you simply just want to click on continue and leave this blank. All right, so here is another question, and this is actually the newest feature of the Kali Linux 2020.1a, which allows us to actually install desired tools and not install everything that we might never use. But even though I would still advise you to actually select everything or at least select the most important tools for Kali Linux, especially if you plan on using it later on, even after the course. Now, for our course, it really doesn't matter what you select right here, as we are simply just going to use Python 3 during our lectures. So right here, you can use spacebar to select different things, such as Kali desktop environment. You can select everything if you want. It doesn't really matter, just once you select everything that you need, you can click on continue. 
and this installation right here will take some time. There will be another pop-up question which will ask you something along the lines whether you want to install the grub boot loader to the master boot record where you want to select yes. And after that I believe there will be no more pop-ups and you should have the installation complete and your Kalinux will be ready to use. So that would be about it for this installation tutorial. I will leave some links in the uh, resources of the lecture where you can get familiar with the Kali Linux a little bit more and where you can perform top 10 things that everyone should do after installing Kali Linux. Okay, so that would be about it for this tutorial and in the next lecture we're finally going to see how we can download and install PyCharm which we're going to use for creating our programs. Hope I see you there and take care. Bye.